Hi there. This is an interesting uh, abdominal CT from the emergency room. It's a CT done without oral or intravenous contrast, and we're starting from caudal to cranial. And as we scan through the abdomen, we start to see some dilated small bowel loops with their fluid levels. Um, and the colon is non-dilated, contains some stool, but the dis Proportionate dilatation of the small bowel relative to the large suggests that the patient had a small bowel obstruction. <clears throat> so the next job at hand remains to be to identify where the obstruction is taking place and what is causing it. Um, so as we scroll through, there is a finding that is not immediately apparent at first review. But if we spend a moment in this section, we'll see that there is a small defect in the lateral abdominal wall here, and that a segment of the small bowel has herniated through. So this is a ventral hernia in the right flank. And as we can see, the bowel has become constricted at the neck of the hernia, and that is where the transition is taking place. So this is a an example of a strangulated or incarcerated right flank ventral hernia. And this is, in fact, a type, a subtype of ventral hernia that is called an interparietal hernia. It occurs between the layers of muscle in the abdominal wall, uh, in this case, the oblique muscles, the internal and the external oblique muscles are separated by this hernia. So it's an example of, an, of a strangulated interparietal hernia in the right flank resulting in small bowel obstruction. Thank you.